So these are the things you'll need to make the pop-ups. One egg, green beast flavour, fresh orange, some white dye, a mixing bowl, and in this instance some cold water base mix. The reason why I'm using the cold water base mix is it already includes the milk bee that I mentioned earlier on. It gives it a lovely creamy note. Um, it's quite a pale base mix, so it will take the white dye very well. You'll get some nice bright pop-ups. The reason for using this combination, apart from it having a lovely zesty, um, fruity note to it, the orange is actually oil-based. So as it's leaking out of the pop-up, it will be trying to find its way to the surface, um, going through all the, all the layers. Um, the green beast is actually PG based. PG is heavier than water, so it will actually sort of leak out and along the bottom. So I've cracked the egg into the mixing bowl and now I'm going to add the flavours. You'll need 5ml of green beast and 5ml of fresh orange. If you don't have a syringe, conveniently, the lid is 5ml. So we'll add that green beast in there. Give that a good shake. Now the fresh orange, again 5ml. and then a nice heaped teaspoon of white dye. Now we'll mix all of that together. So I've mixed this with a fork until the paste starts to clean the bowl. It's still a little bit wet, so I'm gonna add some more base mix and get my hands in there to knead it a bit further. So we'll take a pinch of our paste, only a small amount as I prefer to have about a mil to a mil and a half of skin on the outside of the cork ball. We'll then just flatten that, as I say, to about a mil and a half or so. Push the cork ball, that's become a lot more tacky now with the egg uh, on the outside of it, into the paste. Don't worry too much about getting it even at this point. I'm going to show you a trick that will make sure you get a perfectly centred cork ball. So you'll just smooth that round like that and now on to the next trick. Right so you've got your paste moulded around your cork ball and at this point it's probably not very even. The next trick I'm going to show you is the key to having a perfectly centred cork ball every time. If you just start to put a bit of pressure on the cork ball you're looking to achieve a cube shape. Keep squidging the sides like that and as you can see, you do end up with a little cube like that. Right, so we've got our cube. The final trick I'm going to show you is that if you just add a tiny little bit of lump liquid to your hands, rub the oil onto your hands like that, that's another trick that will give you a lovely smooth surface to the, uh, the cork ball popper. You'll then put that into your palm and just gently start to roll. Okay, there we go. Lovely little cork ball. I don't know if you can see the sheen, uh, the oils put on it. That does help to make it a lot smoother. So today I use the fresh orange, green beast and milk bee combination. There are lots more and really it's limited to your own imagination. You could try a fruity squid strawberry and condensed milk, one of my favourites, green beast and bubblegum, uh, scopex and green beast, scopex and peach. Um, all of these flavours are available from our website. That's www.dtbakes.co.uk. Thank you.